gathered up, the final. All gathered up is the program that goes into detail of all the techniques and skills that come up on each episode of the Great British Sewing Bee. And we do that because we have a little more time and because we have the expertise, as always, with Master Taylor Couturier, Carol Elaine, who's here for the last time. Hey, Carol. Oh, that sounds so sad. <laughs> Hello, know, everybody. Oh, the last time. <laughs> <laughs> 10 weeks, we're here, the final. What a journey it's been, hey? It's always so, so delicious to watch that final show, isn't it? Yes. You know, such talented people. Yeah. And um, always, and they never disappoint. I know. And, and because it's the final, we have that lovely sequence at the end where we see what the sewers are doing. And you go, oh, I remember her. Oh, I remember him. Uh, and it's lovely seeing what they were doing now. So it was, it's always a great end, that little sequence, isn't it? It is, and it's lovely to see people going into trade and into the different aspects of the trade. You know, the millinery and the and yeah. teaching and uh, doing workshops and then picking up the quilting needle. Definitely. Well, let's go straight into it. It's the final. There's no point uh, covering it up. Serena won. Of course. I mean, just Miss Reliability. She was her, the continuity with her, you know, expert stitching. Um, and her perfect choice of cloth and the, you know the cleanliness of the outcome of what she made it she was just consistent across yeah. the board yeah she's been um i heard her do a little interview she's been sewing since she was 15 and what she now 22 so she's okay. you know as learning all those skills and techniques and making and create and repeating that making and learning it, it's just brilliant isn't it and it's almost as though she came into the final, uh, with, into the whole process, not just the final, but she came in as, an, as a contestant already with her favorite things that she liked to make in mind, you know, because each challenge, when you, we got to the made to measure challenge, she seemed to have the right thing chosen and knew exactly how to execute it. It was going to be an interesting final. We had Raf, Rebecca and Serena, uh, the two that we probably spotted right from the beginning, really, that, that, were, that were kind of favourites, Raf and Serena, were kind of split, weren't they? We had this idea of Raf being the designer and technician and then Serena being the sewer and the skills yes. there, didn't we? That was, so that was interesting, rather than having one person or two people that had a mixture of those skills. That made it really interesting because, you know, Raph the visionary, you know, the storyteller in cloth, yeah. you know, the guy who worked in films and, and, and saw this all play out and knew how to work with a big space. And, yes. and we, we, I did think, you know, maybe one would take over you know, the other, but they kind of, they kept with those honed in skills, didn't they? Mm. And then we had Rebecca, the kind of the dark horse that suddenly, well, <laughs> not suddenly, but was there in the background throughout doing it, doing well, but then suddenly the last three or four episodes, whoo, really rising through the ranks. Yeah, that's right. She just built on her skills, you know, week by week. And she was always in that second position. She mm. seemed to always be behind Serena. They actually worked similarly, I thought. But there yeah. was that one, I think it was episode six or seven, where she's in the edits. You know, who knows how these things are put together. Yeah. But in the edits, she started to say things like, I'm not helping you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. now. <laughs> she just sort of, you know, turned the corner. Yeah. But then when she... But she waltzed out in that red power dress with that star around good. her neck. I thought, oh no, we're going to see something tonight. So it was a great final. Um, we'll have a quick reflect through like we normally do. We've got no tutorial uh, for our last episode mm -hmm. because we just want to talk about the final. And we finished off brilliantly last week with your skater, your skater jacket. Great. Have you been out on your board this week? No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, I'm looking to place that one. I placed the ballerina dress yeah. with a ballerina <gasps> and she's going to take that over. Yes. And a um, being a real professional dancer. And I've asked her, says, you can have the dress, but just can you show me you performing in it? Oh. And I want to do the same thing with uh, somebody from the extreme sport category. I, I want <laughs> to let them have that. 
and I'd just like to see a, a short clip of it in action. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, let's have a quick just uh, chat through um, each round rather than individuals. The pattern challenge we had um, uh, the, to make a bridesmaid dress, it was all about that buttonhole. The, uh, yeah. what do they call it? The bound, the bound buttonhole. The, the bound buttonhole, yes. And then putting it through both layers, you know, the, the outer layer and the lining. Um, it's very tricky. It was a very small buttonhole cool. and not enough, a whole lot of room to maneuver because you had two corners to contend with. Now, normally, if it's like a center front row of those buttons, you know, you've got free space above and below. You've got the, the margin, the center front margin, that finished edge. But this, these people, they had to work in a corner. That's tricky. So it was interesting seeing that and their skills. Um, and also working with tricky fabrics. Tell us about um, Raf and Serena having the silk taffeta. That is tricky because, um, you know, the warp and the weft threads are different. And then the weft threads, they just, they just, uh, the warp threads just ravel. Just, just, right. you know, so you can even look, just the action of cutting out some of that cloth, you could lose a sixteenth of an inch, it starts to fray. Oh. And then and, and you handle it, you've lost another eighth of an inch. Oh, it's it's very tricky. Very and tricky. That, I mean, I, I think they should have probably taken the the square for the bound buttonhole and backed it with something that would hold it, fix it. Yes, because I think Serena had that problems with the, the, the fraying, didn't she, on, on her buttonhole mm. area. That's right. Well, the final scores were um, Serena first, Rebecca second, and Raf third. Um, so we, we're like, right, okay, let's move into the um, transformation challenge, which was a bit of fun, wasn't it? It was, um, it was a, a, the festival, because the theme was celebration week. So we had the celebration of the bridesmaid dress with the wedding. Now we're at the, the festival, celebrating uh, the summer and a festival. So they had to make a, a festival dress full of stuff that you found in your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good fun. And it was really colorful. And, and, and there were some surprises, you know, the, um, the some of the bits and bobs they gave us, uh, they gave them from the drapery department were quite yeah. unusual. And it was... I think I saw a lampshade there and, and uh, <laughs> Raph had got the beaded curtain. Um, that's it, that's it. Yeah, it was know... anything but the kitchen sink there, wasn't it? Yes, and I know we've talked about the Transformation Challenge. Many people have had their comments on how the Transformation Challenge has has changed over over the years of, of the sewing bee, but this was this was fun and colourful, and we had a whole array of um, items. Rebecca perhaps wasn't as colourful, but I thought was very stylish with those little beads hanging down. Uh, we had um, Serena with her her her, her 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 like rainbow top, like a halter neck top into the the trousers. Mm -hmm. It was a bit of fun, and and Raf with a a whole. A accoutrement of numbers, wasn't it? The, the, the shorts, the bag, the, he had all sorts going on, didn't he? Yeah. And, and the headdress that got passed <laughs> around. I thought it <laughs> was rather with that. <laughs> um, so we can kind of see what was going on there with the scores. Raf came first, Serena second, Rebecca third. Well, basically, it's all equal, yeah, isn't it? That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the made to measure, which we thought was going to be a stunner. It was an off-the-shoulder evening gown fit for a, a red carpet. So we were going to see some, well, hopefully we were going to see some stunners, weren't we? Oh, some dazzlers, yes. And we did. And we, we did. And I think all, each contestant did you know, what they do best. You know, Serena's dress was um, safe, I thought. Mm. Not too many moving parts. Um, like Raf and Rebecca put into theirs. Um, it had miles and miles of fabric. Um, it fit beautifully and she chose a dazzling color. Mm. It was a, a shorter than I thought. Um, I like looking at the, um, the memorable gowns from the red carpet, you know, you, you see some such iconic yeah. dresses and they're well, I'm, usually I'm more like when you yeah. said when you said short and and then for floor length I, I see in my head stereotypically an evening gown being long and floor length so i didn't know whether that was going to be part of the judging because what is a gown technically is it 
is it is that what defines a gap floor length or or is that just what we're caught up in in the history of dress i think exactly that's what it is Stuart. you said it the history of the evening gown is is floor length you know so gloves, tiara, yes kind of and so rebecca to me that was an evening gown but yes maybe the floral print made it too much like a a wedding day dress rather than an evening gown could be i mean she rebecca bless her she loves the prince she loves she she must love the natural world and that she must want to bring that into the things that you know she creates which i think is lovely good on her yes right mm -hmm. um so so what you want to sew as well and 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 so she did and and there is an argument we've talked about this before isn't there um if if it's simple it doesn't mean it's then easy or or not as worth something that is technical does it no simple doesn't mean it's not ambitious you know absolutely right i mean or the, you know the little black dress is, is incredibly yeah. difficult to get right to fit yeah. and and yeah. to look you know interesting and not just like a single black block of color um, um and you said about raf at the beginning being that oh, i can't remember what, what wording did you say um the, visionary the, the, uh, oh visionary yes so uh, telling a story he had a vision for that kate bush dress didn't he he did and whenever he does this made to measure and whenever he gets the interview he you know you, you just stop and listen yeah. you know he's not just making a dress he's got all this in mind and he's he's devoting it to people and he's got music in mind and he's got mm. scenery yeah so but it just didn't I mean, it, it just looked a bit unfinished and maybe he put, there was so much going on and uh, he went for that wow thing, the mm. wow final number, but just time, it was just time, wasn't it? I think it was. And also it, it, it didn't look intact at the end. It didn't, you know, it didn't look like the drawing. Mm. It didn't look solid and it didn't look like it was fit and fixed at the waist. It was things that looked like things were just coming away a little bit yeah even with um, my very inexperienced eye the dress at the front seemed or skirt at the front seemed to be ballooning out a, a bit yeah. um but you know it's a competition and they're going towards the time um and as we know that affects it so they were then going into that just judge's decision you know all equal and uh, who, mm -hmm. who are they going to go for but they went with serena and we're like exactly. everyone was like, oh yes. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think Serena did deserve to win. I, I I think just just week on week, she seemed to just you know yeah. hit it right right right, you know, the head of the pin. She she just got everything came together, the fabric choice, the pattern, and of course her very mm. refined skills. Everything oh she else. had she she had six garment of the weeks over the, the the nine episodes not including the final that's phenomenal isn't it there you are there you are yeah she yeah she uh the lion's share of, yes. the, of the prizes didn't she so mm -hmm. so that's that, that's the final and and serena winning let's have a quick look back carol um uh, out of all the episodes are there are there any garments that were made that just stood out to you? It doesn't, doesn't have to be one, it could be two or three, that you just thought, yeah. oh, I'd like to talk about that, or I'd like to talk about that. There were a couple, I, and I think I mentioned it to you at the time, and I think we have to go back to week one or two, I, I forget, but Jean was a contestant. She left, she left the workroom early in the first or second week, and she made a dress, this, and it was a buffet dress. And it had a bell sleeve and the just print was gorgeous and the, the, the match of the pattern, the fabric and her model. I just thought it was such a winner. Um, I like that. I, I liked um, I liked Andrew's um, Pythagorean denim. Oh, yeah. Herringbone. That was yes. that was one of my favorites. Yeah. And uh, and then um, I liked. Uh, Let's see. I like Rebecca's parachute transformation. Oh, yes. Yeah. That and was many, many people agreed with what we were saying. We're all singing off the same hymn sheet, I think, with Re Re Rebecca there uh, in that episode. Um, yes. What about, I, 
Cool. What about you? What about, what about you? Um, well, I always liked Damien from from the beginning. Uh, his his winter wool party dress with the zip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and oh. speaking about Damien, we got a lovely letter from Damien, um, uh, and he, he sent us some lovely kind words, uh, which which made our made our our day, didn't it? Really, oh, it was beautiful. Love. I mean, so so few people take the time to say nice things, uh, not to mention writing them down, you know, that, know. that good old fashioned letter. Yeah. That was beautiful. I, I hope Damien keeps in touch. Yes, you it, know, would be, it would be lovely. It would be love lovely. to talk to all of them, you know, if they're yeah. up for it. Um, and do you know, it goes right back to episode one. You talked about the buffet dress. I, I just loved Raph's, it was his first mm -hmm. make. And that's when I thought, wow, he's good. It was that, that his, his, his um, yellow ochre mustard buffet dress oh, with the um the broi, broi, broi de broderie anglais that's it broderie anglais and, oh yes and, and i think did he dyed the fabric himself he dyed it himself and there were i think four different types of um uh pattern that he used fabrics and it was just yeah then a couple of my favorites there as well as my makes here all the way through the galleria i know tell us look so, at that <laughs> there's my um that's the free pattern the romper hanging from the the light shade so isn't that a, isn't that a lovely garment it is now i've made it and uh, and then my poppers there very pleased with that well uh, done a, a, a good challenge i can see that um there we are little romper and that was a real bonus to have um a real bonus to have a free pattern every now and then indeed and, and i know I, I had a moan about it but thank you great british sewing bee for doing that and for putting that mm -hmm. out and the baker boy hat go and get your off to pears you. apples and pears hey look at except, that except mine's a bit big <laughs> Um, you know how to you know how to remedy that don't Indeed, you Indeed, very much so and yeah, I nice, do... nice complex junction join there yep from one of yours uh tutorials another one we did when it was a raglan uh, jersey stretch brilliant oh you've done a lot you'll be pleased to know since since this, I've now bought lots of uh, overlocker threads of different oh, colors. <laughs> so now we can match it. Okay. And then my it's last good. one, which I really wanted to wear for this episode, but I just didn't have enough time. I was spent all day yesterday and all day today making it. I wanted to make a, a gentleman's shirt. Um, I've done the front, my button bands. Oh, you're on your way. Look at my oh, yoke and Carol. I watched your tutorial for darts. Look at my darts. Oh, very nice. Oh, I can hardly see them. You there see? they are. Oh, that's inside out. That's uh, that would help. There we go. So look at that. Oh, not nicely that nicely look. pressed. Yes, pressed to one side. I started from the middle, like you said. Start from the middle of the widest point. Go out. Good. Knotted it. I them. Yes. Oh, so. Good job, you. So please of that, and then my yoke. Look at that top yes. stitching on my yoke. It's the burrito oh. method, like they did on the show. Oh, so it worked. Did you have to roll it up really oh, tightly? Brain. Indeed, really <laughs> tightly, because you've got yeah. to get the, the two um, yoke points to to, yes. to to meet. That's right. So you can then sew. But there, yes, there, there it is. Oh, you're on your way. And well. And my, my pocket, oh, my patch pocket, and again, followed you took your tutorial. Look, can you see my oh, little triangle? The triangle that is smashing. Well done. Oh, it's a very neat sew, Stuart. Very neat. But this is where I, I um, uh, I will just say there we are. Pop him on there. <laughs> I guess that that gives us all a lesson in how long these things actually do take. Well, that's that's the thing. So I I had cut out all the pattern pieces and the fabric yesterday. So that's that's Wednesday. Um, no, uh, no Thursday, and I spent all today. I thought, yes, if I get into work at nine, 
I can finish by six, I'm sure. That's plenty enough hours. Oh, my word. <laughs> and, and I wasn't working fast, fast, but I wasn't working slow and having a cup of tea and then doing a bit and then, and then having a bit. I mean, it was quiet in the shop. There weren't many customers, but I was pretty much sewing nonstop reading the instructions, sewing, not, you know, yet you've got the pocket, the yeah. yoke, um, the, the button band, yeah. the top stitching. And then mm. I got as far as half past five tonight doing my first placket on the sleeve. And then that's when I'm like, oh, I'm exhausted. It's not going to get finished. I haven't even got anywhere near the collar. <laughs> Looks like it's it's not there, is it? But I, I mean, I'm sure you had in the back of your mind the whole time. These people do it in five hours. Absolutely. How do they do? That? You know. And and I think we're we're coming towards the end. But um, that's one thing I hope that if the sewers are watching, and as we do know, they they have been, uh, well, Damien has been. I hope that that has come across, which is why we always wanted to make as we watched the show, didn't we? As the season yes. went on, because we wanted to make sure that everyone else knew that we were, it's very easy to sit and criticize from your armchair and, and, and moan, isn't it? But actually, if you're, if you're doing it and you're trying it and you appreciate how hard it is, I hope then when we do critique, it's a bit more genuine. Does that, do you, know, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Oh, Absolutely, you've got to you've got to go through that. You've got to walk the mile, don't you, in yeah. their shoes? And I think that um, the lights aren't on. There's no there's no production crew breathing down your neck. Yeah. There's no judges lurking. No, you know, there's no Joe even, trying to chat to me and have a laugh with me or anything, is there? <laughs> yeah, and and even if you push yourself, you know, and say I I'm going to aim for five hours, or I I'm, I'm just going to try it. In the comfort of your own home with you know no distractions it's it's hard yeah it's hard to get Absolutely. that garment through so we we have to yeah like you say appreciate that and then and, and hmm. you know give even more praise oh indeed and, and I, i'm i'd be like fari here i'd be going home and but i can understand why because i think she said she didn't want to rush she wanted to make the garment at, mm -hmm. work at her pace and wherever she got she got and I could quite understand that because I, I, I don't know if I was making that. I don't know whether I'd want to rush and cut corners, but then I know it's also a competition as well. It's, it's torn there for the sewers, isn't it? What do you, you yeah. know, when Damien was following one of the instructions, he knew time was on. So he, he, he oh, there's five points there. I think I could do it in two points. Yes. Yeah. Well, why not? Because you've got to meet the competition deadline, but you also want to make a nice garment. It's so... <laughs> It's very difficult. If you have the competitive spirit, if you're that way inclined, then you will push yourself. Yeah. You'll do that. If you don't have that spirit, you'll say, I mustn't rush or I'll make a mistake. Yeah. And, and, and so that will hold you yeah. back anyway. So you, you have to cut, you have to understand who you are. Yeah. And then you know you're only going to get a certain, you know, yeah. pace but, with it. But to, to find that pattern and know that in four and a half hours, you've got to have a finished garment. Wow. Wow. But bear in mind too, they, they practice. And yes, when, when, they do. when they they're do. selected for this, then they go for it. And I can see yeah. them. You know, you know, if you watch the past series, you know you're going to have to make a man's shirt. You know you're going to have to make a children's piece. You're yeah. going to have to make an evening gown. You're going to have to transform things. So they probably set these tasks mm. and, 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 and try to get as quick as they can. Well, hopefully by next season, I'll be ready to make an evening gown. <laughs> I saw and, the comments. I and, saw the comments. They want you to, Stuart. <laughs> and maybe then apply if the season's still going on, if the series is still going on, maybe I'll good enough to apply next year. If, I think you should. If they'll have me. I'd love to see you as a contestant. I, I know oh. we've criticised the judges and we've had a bit of a moan sometimes about their wording and, and the criteria, but it's because we love the show. It's because mm -hmm. we, 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 want, we want to see more sewing. We're so invested in it. So mm -hmm. uh, I suppose that from that point of view, it's, uh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad we've been able to show more sewing. And, 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 and if I can just take a minute here, the mm -hmm. reason we've been able to do that is because we, you know, aside from my full-time work, I 
put together some of these tutorials because I deeply care about this as well. I've watched the show year on year and I've missed the technical element. Mm. And I've missed, in the, in the early days, they used to, some of the judges would just stop and help. If somebody got into trouble and got a bit, you know, mm. tensed up, they would help, they would see them through. But we've enjoyed making these tutorials mm. and it's not only me that's doing it. And I've got a bit of help. I've got a bit of backroom tech help. So I thought, if you don't mind, I would just like to introduce Absolutely. Mike, bring him in and, and we'll just have a little toast and we'll thank everybody. Yes. Yeah. Who's... Here's okay. Mike. Oh. Hello. Be hey, Mike. Yes. <laughs> So Mike is very patient and he's in the background and he's got two cameras set up. That's why we're able to give a couple of different oh. angles and then he does the editing and, and everything. And, you know, it, all these things take time and I'm so, I'm so, you know, well, it's lucky, lucky to have yeah. this support. Well, when we first started out with this idea and I came to you and I said, oh, let's do a, a you know, a little sewing bee chat. Um, I had it in my head. Um, when even when we were talking that we would do what we are doing now but we would watch you live doing the tutorial I I never had an idea that you were then going to edit it and then voice over it and so that's blown me away right from episode one when when you showed us what actually the tutorial was so it's a huge well, amount of work Oh, it's been, it's been fun. And, and I, it's, it's just how I think things should be done, you yeah. know, just do it right. And I wanted to be able to show people up close and personal what's going on and, and how to get these techniques right. So thank you, Stuart. Oh. Thank everybody who's watched. Thank you, and Mike. And you too, Mike, for all that editing. Cheers. Oh, oh, be congratulations to you both. It's been a joy to see all the comments coming in in the way that they have. Mm. You've done a wonderful job, the two of you been really special to watch it well, well those comments are, are amazing yeah. aren't they and they and it says it all they want to see more techniques don't they they want to learn more mm -hmm. they want to get better that's what this is all about it's yeah. about getting better have you enjoyed doing all the editing mike it's been an experience <laughs> <laughs> i've learned how to use final cut pro much better than i did before yeah, and do you know, easy. and sometimes when you learn something new, learning it for uh, in a deadline where you've got to do things is sometimes the best way of learning, isn't it? Learning by doing, yeah. Learning, yeah, by, doing. learning by doing. <laughs> well, it's it's been brilliant with all with all the editing and then putting it together in our package and then having the chat in between. We couldn't ever, well, assume and or know how well it was going to go down, but it's been it's been a wonderful ten week journey, hasn't it? And before before we finish, let's do the prizes from last week's um, show. Loads of comments. People have commented uh, our usual commenters and a few more new ones. Um, so let's. I, I'm going to change the screen now, so we can see share screen. There we go. I've got this um, wonderful random, let's move us over to here, um, a, a computerized random YouTube commenter yeah. picker. So just so the audience know, there's the uh, link to our video and I've loaded it up. There are 28 unique comments. Technically, there aren't really 28 because I've commented and you've commented. So there are 26 commenters out there who are going to get some prizes. I click this button here and it will start to randomly generate and we'll have a winner. So the first one Let's go, uh, is this, oh, not that, oh it's the God. clapper, the first prize. Let's see who's going to get the clapper. So let's go back to that. And here we go. Clapper is going to, Lily Ann Keister. There we are. And there's your comment, Lily Ann, fabulous. Okay, oh. so Lillian, you've got the clapper. Congratulations, Lillian. Yes. Cheers, raise a glass. And now it's the, um, the Taylor's All. Who is going to win the Taylor's All? I was using this so much today. 
and that. <laughs> Very good. So let's quickly go to the tailors all and carry on. Let's pick another winner. Here we go. Judith Larman, you've got the tailors all. Round of applause, raise a glass to you. <laughs> And well, our last prize, ooh, which I've just dropped. Oh, hello, Pussycat. Last pr uh, prize is Taylor's Thimble, some sharps, fabric clips, and the snips. So let's see who has got that one. The starter kit. Would be great, wouldn't it, for, for a newbie sewer? So, uh, right, here we go. Pick another winner. Who's it going to be? Third prize. Julie Piggott. What did she say? I love how you guys go into so much detail and tips. Oh, we'll miss this after Aww. the sewing bee. Wow. Oh, there, that's gorgeous. There we are. So cheers. Cheers to you all. Let's put that into Aww. full screen. Well, there we go. What a lovely thing to do, Stuart. Uh, what a way to end. Well, we, we, we've just, as I said, we've been thrilled with everyone's comments and how everyone has got really on board with us over the last 10 weeks because I, I, I don't think you did much in front of the camera before this did you Carol? No I did not no. Carol's I've, turned uh, out to be a natural. Uh, she has hasn't she? Okay Absolutely. well thank you very much we'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, it's, um, it's not it's not easy but I this part of it you made it very very easy Stuart. Well, I've I've enjoyed it immensely over the last 10 weeks. I, I think it's helped a lot of people in so many ways. I mean, simplest as in uh, we've been in lockdown and it's been something nice to look at, get away from it all uh, during mm. this these awkward times, but also just to learn new skills. I've learned so many. I've learned so many new skills. You've learned some tech skills, haven't you? Yeah, wow. I certainly <laughs> have too. I think this has been a real bonus of, of lockdown, you know, because it was that concept of I, you know, I never learned to sew. My my first little Instagram account that I opened because I thought, well, what what am I going to do in lockdown? You know, how is this all going to work? So that's that's what it's grown from. Oh, and, and I'm, I'm still there. I'm and still it's there growing. on Instagram. We, yeah. bef before we started this 10 week run, you were at, at about I think you had 20, did you have 20 subscribers? If that, and, if that. And now uh, you're up to 860 something. So wouldn't it be great if we can get to a thousand by the end, by the time the end of, of this period of this show going up, maybe a week after. So as always, um, comment below, let us know your thoughts. Our, our last our last time that we're going to see you. What did you think of the final? We loved it. What did you think of um, all the makes? And maybe we'll see you soon. We might come up with something else. Who knows? We'll see what happens um, mm. if the day jobs allow it, hey? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> but if we're not, if not, next year, put the dates in the diary. It's been an absolute pleasure, Carol. Cheers to you all. And Thank see you, Stuart whenever we do another All Gathered Up. Thanks, everyone. Happy summer, everyone. Bye. Bye.